Yeah, so same idea if I'm fighting Arcade. I've got another knife. I throw a knife that lets me then like push Arcade. And as I push for Arcade, the knife will land like here. And I get the info as I want to fight it. It's very similar to the Molly, where your current Molly, you have to throw it while you're sort of in the open. Like they could peek you. That'd be annoying. While this Molly, you can throw it. And then when they can peek you, you're like gun out. It's just a bit better. You throw the knife early because you already know that you want to hit arcade here. You're probably going to pull your knife out. And knife. Yeah, kind of um, kind of exactly like this. Like literally this. Is exactly what I was just talking about. Hello gamers, look at your elo. Now look at mine. Now back to your elo. Now back to mine. Sadly, it isn't mine. But if you stop autopiloting outdated strategies and start getting free VOD review coaching, it could look like it's mine. Look down. Back up. Where are you? You're on bind. With the strats your strats could be like. What's in your hand? Back at me, I have it. It's the Valorant gift card from Woohoojin. For your successful follow up thought, look again. The gift card is now an ego vandal. Anything is possible when you get your Valorant tips from a talking banana and not TikTok. I'm on a gaming chair. Can you, um, can you set up a turret for, for my arcade place? Oh, I'll God, he's better than me. I'm still working on remembering to ask for that. He's so much better than me. Thanks. Okay, okay, okay. So the frenzy's not bad, but um, it's recommended by the goat himself that you do full util buy on pistol, so you can flash out a tower if they're coming up to mid. I'm gonna knife uh, a main, guys. I don't dislike the um the flashes though. Oh my god, he's got all my lineups. Okay, Bro's got the wee woo dude lives in the city. Yeah, this is an example of where a flash would be awesome. Yeah, <laughs> right as I say that, you get cooked. A lot of KO, in my opinion, is tech. Now that I've learned him and uh, talked to pros about him, some pros were like, "Nah, you can just wing it." But then I watch their vods, and ain't nobody winging it. That's all I'm gonna say. Not even the people who say you can just wing it. And as somebody who's now learned KO on a map, I disagree that you can just wing it. I think you need some tech. And I'm going to show you some tech right now for this A retake because I'm prepared for these scenarios a bit better. You can prove you can wing it. Yeah, sure. Hop in my custom with me. So here, I'm going to show the nade that I'm going to throw. Uh, this is the one he's saying you can wing. This like to hit this corner and all of back there, and you gotta hit all of under. I'm not sure you can wing that. That's tight. Yes, sir. Let's see it. What? What's going on? Sorry, my resolution keeps swapping around. One sec. All good. Yeah, I see your game. All right. So you look for this diamond. Okay. You jump on it. You store it here. Uh huh. That didn't hit the back area by the stairs. It could be tucked right there. Oh, do you mean like back here? Now I think you got... No, you still aren't hitting that. Yeah, let me check mine. It, it, I'm pretty sure I'm hitting that. Do, 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 do. Let me check. Yeah, I'm hitting that shit. Cause that's the um this is the angle if you recall um i got a video where i show this angle and we even saw this angle get played very oh. recently in pct they play mean, up actually, here okay. and your nade's not pushing them out of this angle yeah no you're right, you're right. I, I have been having an issue so i agree yours is better i'll learn yours <laughs> okay okay it's <laughs> lit it's lit he can wing a nade chat but it doesn't cover all of it door still open. yeah of course 
coming ropes here with frenzy makes more sense though i was just gonna say this is why uh full util is really useful um if you had flashes this retake is a lot better because you just flash up here and you can peek out and fight and the people who could get hit by the nade have to peek out and then the flash pops and of course just keep in mind it doesn't blind people here these people are not blind anybody who's top sight anybody who's out in the open these people are all blind i like doing it with the nade wait, wait a bit for the flash oh if you did it with the nade you just won this round three, 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 four. Do you know how to do it with the nade, Peekaboo? Yes? You got greedy for 250. Ah. Uh... Yeah, so here's my um Here's what I've basically learned from studying fake Anana's VODs. When you're really crunching and you definitely want to win B main control, which is what you have right here, you use the nade. So you'll nade. I'm just showing it for chat. And you'll flash. So chat knows what we're talking about. That nade. That's when you like definitely want to fight and take B main control. When you're just playing B with like one homie and you want to start the round by like maybe getting a pick. That's when you do this. Like you want to start the round and maybe get a free pick. You're like, oh, here, I'll flash B main for you. And you can peek out and check. And your buddy peeks. They don't see anything. And you reset. You go back tower or whatever. So try to think of it as are we hard committing to fighting B main? Or are we just trying to get some info? And like maybe a kill that'd be nice so here you're hard committing to fighting b min as you can see on the minimap you're not interested in info right now you're interested in killing every single one of these pieces of shit if they're pushing b min so in that case use the nade use the nade so close though i, I love uh, the play uh, i love the player oh yeah so for anybody wondering how i just threw that nade i'm gonna show you how to read my playbooks and how to fish so i crouched in this corner and then I lined up with that corner, this part of the grenade icon. And I just clicked. I'm crouched when I throw that. And that lands right here. So all of these are available for free in the Hooge Playbooks channel on my Discord. You just hit Control K and type Hooge dash Playbooks. Otherwise, you might not find it because Discord hides channels randomly. It's dumb. And he's got Initiator, Fracture, Defense. And you can look at this. And yeah, it's noisy. But all you have to do is you've got to find the nade. Okay, track it to where I'm standing. And then you just have to find a dotted green line coming off of that. And it's going to show you the lineup. So here you can see crouch and I'm pointing out there. That little bit is in the corner. Pair with high flash, warm t warn the team that flash doesn't pop instantly and push a bit slower. And that's exactly how I play it. So it's noisy, but yeah, as he indicated, it's free. So the flash that we just saw our hero throw, he threw a different one, but mine, you stand here against the barrier and you see a green dotted line draws to the image with reference. So I'm lining up the knife icon there. So this can save you a lot of time if you're specifically looking for lineups. Um, Cause you can know that the lineups I put in my playbooks are professional tier lineups. I don't just put random stuff in these. I, Basically, only put competitive level lineups in these things. So here's Sofa Ascent ones, for example. Okay. Back to our VOD. Yeah. That's annoying that she's not turreting for us, but at least she's arcade. Oh, what the hell? Hey, again. Yeah, I'd rotate spawn. I feel you. We got gun advantage. I'll pick up your guys' drop. Okay, I'm going to be a numbers guy to you right now. Let's pretend they are drop. That smoke is going to drop at 110 or something. This engagement is worse for Phantom. And so you just have to rewire sort of the way that you play when you have Phantom. Phantom's a better gun to have most of the time. But if you make decisions without keeping in mind that you have a phantom, then it's a worse gun. If you want to be the type who can come rope and take that fight, you really need to vandal. If you're going to fight for drop, I'm coming here. Because now when you get this fight, they're cooked. They're so cooked. Statistically speaking now, you win this like 52%, 53% of the time. So 
Yeah, CT Phantom T Vandal. I like that. I like that because when you're CT side, you get to make these decisions. You get to go, am I going to play ropes or am I going to play close sand? You get to decide that, which is why CT can buy the Phantom. And T side, I agree. Vandal's a bit better because when you're T side, you're peaking drop. You don't know if there'll be ropes or sand and you don't get to choose. Either way, you have to fight them. And so this is why the Vandal is a bit more versatile because if they are ropes, you're not at a huge disadvantage um, and you're good to go. So because you have the Phantom, you need to keep that in mind. You want to position here. I might make the same mistake as you in, in practice at this time. We can chill, we can chill, don't need to fight. There you go, there you go. Hey, hello. Back up, JV. I'm flashing behind you. He's on B. He's on B. He's on B. Okay, so the only thing I don't like about this knife is how high you threw it. So, this is like stupid math stuff, but think of this as the ground and this circle as your KO knife area. And you threw the knife like this. And dudes be standing like here. The knife area is huge. So your effective covered area is this slice of the circle. And if you've taken integral calculus, <laughs> you understand that that area of the circle is smaller than, say, this area of the circle. Um, so against this wall, if you just throw it flat, you're going to cover more area. And because you're not looking, there's no reason not to go for more area in this scenario. So here you can see I'm hitting there. Now as compared to your knife, which is like up here. You see how it's cutting off earlier? You see? This is, is marginal difference. Okay. Nice round, guys. Good job. Great round, great round. There's rim here, there's race here. One, one rotate to rotate. Yeah, let's go be let's go be fast. Let's go be fast now. I got Molly for dice. Let's go. Molly and dice. No, no, no dash. Yeah, so the reason why winging the Molly dice is also not the best, I'm gonna show you right now. I'm gonna wing it. And I'm also going to show you why you shouldn't use these random lineup websites. Okay, well, look at that. I missed. Notice I just left this gap. L let me wing another one. Let's, let's bounce it like you did. Oh, too much of a bounce. Yeah, sure. Oops. I left a gap. Um, and this is also why I highly recommend against using random lineup websites. Because um, I was on... Ah, oh, man, what was the site? I don't want to call them out specifically, okay? But they asked to sponsor me, and I checked their site, and this was their KO nade lineup for dice. And it just left, like... See, it's not damaging me here. That was their lineup for dice, and it didn't hit this guy back here. And I'm like, why is that the lineup you show on your site? Because in the fake Ananas guide, the professional level KO, he just aims a bit lower... And it, it does damage everywhere now. So be careful with this nade for dice. Because if you miss throw it, they can still be dice. Um, so in this scenario, where you're like, I'm going to nade dice. And you comment yeah, like, let's go be, let's go be fast. Let's go here. Be fast I got Molly for dice. See, you comment while you're right here. I got Molly for dice. Perfect. You're here. Molly for dice. And then come out and push. That Molly lands right as you're around this corner anyways, you see? So you can play off your own Molly here. So, dice nade lineup feel really lenient for me? It is. It is. You just have to aim below the leaf. The problem was this lineup site said aim at the leaf, and that's wrong. You just aim below it, but it's a bit. It is very lenient. But there's no reason not to throw it perfectly every time. No reason. Okay. Let's go. 
Molly and Dice. Okay, no, no. Here, I will remake our exact Molly to show you if we hit it or not. So you're aiming at that corner. You're standing on this step and you're holding W for sure when you throw it. You're aiming at this corner. You're standing here. We okay, confirm. I'm going to get it dead on and we'll see if you hit it or not. Molly and Dice. Right there. It could be right here. He jumped? He no, he did not. This guy did not jump. Let's go. Molly and Dice. I'm going in. Oh, you're de your Molly actually landed too close, I think. I'm, I'm not throwing it the way you threw it for whatever reason. Oh, mine hits that like little corner. Let me let me avoid doing that because I don't think yours did. I think you fixed it right at the end. Yeah. Like, look, look, it, it's tough. It's tough. There's no reason to get you to like this wrong. I'm going in. Bad smoke, bad smoke. Speaking of getting you till wrong. <laughs> oh, you're chilling. What the hell? Ah. This technique is really bad. I, I gotta say it. Like right here, for example. Yeah, you missed these shots, but now you know she's off and she shot at you. Why are you just standing here with your crosshair in the wall? She could literally be peeking you right now. Unswing. Spike retrieved. Oh, she's shooting? Okay, I'll come over here. Oh, she tapped the bomb? Okay. Right here, you just threw. Right here, you are actually losing this fight. Um, not this game, but there is a world and many worlds where this is now six to nine. Especially as you're getting closer to like higher immortal. It's because your crosser was in the wall, you were standing out in the open, and you let her peek you. She's bad. Oh, my God, dude. Can you get oh, up? Yeah, this is free. Yeah, yeah. Wait, get ready. Flashing. Right here. No, this is chill. I have Molly on here. Okay. I have, I have a thing if she pushes. Yeah. I've got one, but. Oh, true, 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 true. You're kind of trolling. Why do you have your gun out? If you're gonna flash off the alarm bot. And this costs you so much time that you just get peaked. Dude, that's lucky. I shouldn't have tried to flash. I should have just swung her ass. Yeah, and um, maybe above your pay grade, but the radiant play here, I would be mad at myself if I didn't do this, like if I missed this. Your tower right here, there's an alarm bot right here, so they can't push you until they get really close. I'm grabbing this judge. When the alarm bot triggers, I'm jumping out. And if, of course, the alarm bot doesn't trigger and they tap the bomb, I just grab the vandal. No biggie. But if you're specifically playing off the alarm bot, why wouldn't you use this judge? Yeah, I'd be kicking myself if I missed this. So I let you know. Because that's just even better. Yeah, so same idea if I'm fighting arcade. I've got another knife. I throw a knife that lets me then like push arcade. And as I push for arcade, the knife will land like here. And I get the info as I want to fight it. 
It's very similar to the molly. Where your current molly, you have to throw it while you're sort of in the open. Like they could peek you. That'd be annoying. While this molly, you can throw it. And then when they can peek you, you're like gun out. It's just a bit better. You throw the knife early because you already know that you want to hit arcade here. You're probably going to pull your knife out and knife. Yeah, kind of um, kind of exactly like this. Like literally this. Is. Exactly what I was just talking about. Oh god, just fucking. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Tower clear. Nothing. Nothing. Yes. Two gems. Care for him. One gem. One Jump up, Jen. Jump up, Jen. Up, up, Jen. You know when I work with private students, I always tell them not to link me the VOD ahead of time because I want them. This is like my favorite shit when I get that exact read and they know that I couldn't have pre watched it. Like, ah, oh. they're like, what? Jen, jump up, Jen. I'm blind, I'm blind. Cool. Jen or Canteen? Yeah, that's Jen, that's Jen. So, anyways, you, okay, okay. you lose so that round. Me? You literally lost a round because you just didn't throw a knife lineup, man. Fun. That's tough. That's tough. Anyways, if you want the lineup, shout out. Everyone join the Discord. All you do is stand there, aim the knife there. Wait, that is... Okay, no, I was rightfully confused. For some reason, I didn't see those bushes where I normally see them. Is this a graphic settings thing? I was rightfully confused. I was like, where's my lineup? Oh, yep. It, anyways, the lineup was here. I was a bit off. It's in my it's in my guide. That's where it belongs. It clears more of tower and arcade. Thank you. Thank you, Woohoo Jim. Anyways, if you're like, but lineups are hard, well join the Discord of the Hooch Playbooks channel. And this guy's I've got pro lineups for most of the agents that actually require lineups in here. Uh for a lot of maps. You know. Sova ascent attack. Sova ascent defense. And then just lots of funny pro playbooks. And yeah, there's lots of lineups. It grows every every day. Uh, every week. Initiator can be played like a duelist too. You should aim for about a 50-50 balance of support slash frag. Right now, I put you closer to a 90 respect that in mind get more aggressive contesting space on occasion and feel more comfortable playing alone do 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 do, do. general your playbooks will be and you learn a few more lineups to make your utility consistent. It's very empowering to peek with gun out as your utility lands, as opposed to having to pull out utility, to throw it, expose yourself to danger. Dude. To fence. I'd like to see more five man rush calls with super fancy schmancy utility rollouts. Thank you for the VOD, Peekaboo. Peekaboo. Good luck on the climb. We're gonna open up the raffle for another VOD review. You have a VOD you like to get it reviewed? Head over to Discord at discord.gg slash and click the enter raffle button in the raffles and predictions channel. You may notice that you can't click the enter raffle button. That would be because you do not currently have an approved VOD. 
To get an approved VOD, you got to read all the rules in the VOD Review Rules and Requirements channel, and then you have to record a game that follows all of those rules. No exceptions. Then you submit the VOD in the VOD Submissions channel, where my lovely moderation team will review your submission to make sure you follow the rules. If you did, you'll get approved and you'll be able to enter the raffles. Easy peasy. You got a system in place called Bad Luck Protection. If you show up, enter the raffles frequently and you keep losing, your odds will increase until you do win. I'd say estimated wait time if you're a very consistent attendee of the VOD review streams is three, four days. All you got to do is click the events tab. You look for an event titled free VOD reviews. I am like clockwork. I will not miss that start time. That's in your localized time zone. If you look at the events tab yourself, just show up, have an approved VOD, enter the raffle. So when's the next one? Right there, Thursday, June 1st.